Should we try yours? No, that's fine. We're just just leave. leave. Go on then. Are you alright? You put your arm. Here you go. Thanks. Are they always like that? Yeah, pretty much. Ever since she's been looking for home and shorts for a few days. Kenzie! Don't worry, it's nothing to be ashamed of. How did you decide to, to make a film about, uh, about the exploitation of children? Uh, most of us, we got um, some, so teacher gave us some options, yeah. At the end of the day, we didn't even pick any of them. We just, uh, someone just said, why don't you just use, do this? And everyone said, okay. And that's how we eventually did it. Me and Tony Bear sort of went, why not do gang members? It's happening. Yeah. So we did it. And then we, we miss ended up choosing ours. So everyone agreed to it and did yeah. There's a lot, especially around in Tuxedo, there's a lot of gang crimes around here. So we decided to do it because we want we want it to stop. I've just been busy. Monica took me shopping for some new clothes. And Nadi let me say it's at hers for a few nights. It's freezing at ours at the moment. It's not where you get a new jacket from, but that is well expensive. I thought you got to until the summer. We haven't missed it, have we? Don't worry. Mirika just wanted to thank you for some deliveries. Deliveries? Yeah, her dad has her dropping some stuff off for her, for her business. Why is Mirika like that? I mean, girl, do you know what you have to deliver? Just papers and stuff. Her dad owns a shop. What sort of shop? I don't know, just a shop. I can't believe it. I thought you'd be pleased. You're just jealous. I stay away from them. If they're not happy that you're doing well for yourself, then they will never have your friends. Besides, you got us now. What is it? Just bills and letters for customers. If you don't want to do it, it's fine. I just follow your friends. The part when I was um, telling her that if you don't want to be friends, then th um, don't. But then she felt sorry, so like, she still wanted to be my friend, so she still, um, she still agreed to take the parcel and stuff. Is it money for your dad's business? Are you really that stupid? Not now, Nadia. What are you talking about? Running from house to house like a little mouse, taking stuff from Malika. Malika's favourite little squeak squeak. Ignore her, she's been drinking. We're too young to drink. Says the person running around with packs of cash and drugs. Shut sure, now you're gonna get us all in trouble. You see, tell me. Look, I, I think you best go before Malika finds out you've been looking in her packages. Yara, take this! We, Malika, we need to talk. Shut up, Yasser. Yara, take this, they won't suspect you. Suspect me? Malika, what's going on? Just go home and put this under your bed. Don't look at it, I'll get it tomorrow. Think temptation. And um, kids uh, believe, almost believe everything they hear. But um, as you're growing up, you, you start um, to be cautious with who you and believe and trust. So um, I think that kids should be um, need like help where, around who they trust. But um, you should also have good friends around you who should also tell you what to do. People use the new for different things. Like I bet the older children, like use lots of the younger children for like different things. Like how um, in the movie Yara was being used by one of the older, the, the older children. What's going on here? I've been looking for you everywhere. I'm sorry, I couldn't give you my name longer. Put that away before I use it on you. Yeah, drink this. Drink it and shut up. You're in enough trouble. And don't think to go snitch you because you're already an accomplice. Do you want to be thrown into jail or taken off your bag? I thought you had enough problems. I promise I won't say anything. Just please let me go home. Go home. You're one of us now. You're not going anywhere. Like what Nazania was saying to the girl, like if you don't do it, then you'll have to like go visit your dad and stuff like that. So it's like mostly peer pressure, really. What makes them be under that pressure and, and, and not walk away, not run away? What makes them think that they've got to uh, got to be part of it? Because um, if they're already in it and then they leave, maybe they'll think like they'll beat him up or... Be killed, I think. Well, that was a mistake. Leave her alone. All of us are going to get in trouble anyways. We have to teach her a lesson. Go! You coward! 
Actually, it's just like really important, really, with like with the knife crime and the gang crime and everything, because um, it's um, like taking people's lives and it's not their fault. It's like people who think that they're all like um, really special, but they're really not. The, the gangs are like really close to our houses, yeah. and they mostly happen near our houses. Where would you suggest children go for that kind of help and support if they uh, find themselves? potentially being sucked into this kind of world. Talk to someone safe, adults or any teachers or friends they feel comfortable with. Like in the film at the end they get counselling and stuff so like th that and if they have it in our school like we have it and the place to be that's good. It's been over six months since the trouble with Malaika. I'm still trying to work out what actually happened. I just wanted to feel like I had people who understood how difficult things were for me and seemed happy to help in when he was tight. Blake made me feel like family. Looking back, I was really lucky, even if I didn't feel it. Although, I couldn't see it. I did have friends who had my back all along. I was so scared that my dad was going to be angry. He was just concerned. He said he hadn't realised how much I'd been worrying about money. Now that it's got a new job, things should be easier. Come on in, Yara. School were also supportive and made sure me and Mackenzie got counselling. It's helping us to deal with everything that's happened. I still struggle to trust new people, but with the help from everyone, I'm starting to feel like my old self. I won't let what happened to them like it define me. As I said, I'm one of the lucky ones. If they know anyone who's into this, um, they should call local help or police that this was going on and they need to help others and not just keeping quiet and let it go on because one day it might happen to them and um, it could escalate.